Acceleration is a change in velocity over time, and velocity is speed in a specific direction. So if we are going to change our velocity, we really have three options, all of which are going to require a force to make them happen. So we can speed up, which requires a force to apply a greater force to increase our speed. We can slow down our speed, which would require either friction or another type of applied force like brakes to change our speed or slow us down. And then the final thing is that if we change our direction, we can turn, which would also require some sort of force um, in the opposite direction where we want it to go. So the unit for velocity is meters per second and the unit for time is seconds. So meters per second divided by seconds gives us meters per second squared. If we were to look at a positive acceleration or speeding up that had two meters per second squared, then what we would get uh, would be starting out at zero meters per second. After one second, we would increase our speed by two meters per second in that first second. So we would be going two meters per second after one second. After another second, we would increase our speed another two meters per second, and we would be going four meters per second. After another second of increasing our speed, one, two meters per second, we would be going six meters per second. And after another second of increasing our speed, we were going two meters per second faster, eight meters per second. So what that acceleration means is you're gonna increase your speed by that many meters per second each second. And here we can see Bo adding to his speed. So he's covering more distance in every second, right? He is accelerating. Same thing with this ball slide going down the slide. It starts out slow. And as its speed increases, there would be an acceleration amount to go along with that. Same thing in the car. We start out at zero miles per hour and speed up to 20 miles per hour. So we could have something like uh, an acceleration of five miles per hour per second. Now, gravity is a positive acceleration that um, makes things fall faster, 9.8 meters per second every second. So if you were in an airplane and you decided to go skydiving, after one second, you would fall 9.8 meters per second faster than you had been falling the previous second. And then the next second, you would fall 9.8 meters per second faster. So after two seconds, you would be going 19.6 meters per second. And after three seconds, you would add 9.8 meters per second to your speed, and you would be going 29.4 meters per second. And then finally, after four seconds, you would be falling 9.8 meters per second faster, and you would be going 39.2 meters per second. So every um, second, you would be falling quite a bit faster than you were the second before. That's the idea of acceleration. The acceleration due to gravity is pretty extreme. Um, this acceleration, right, is going to cost the object's velocity to basically increase, to keep getting faster um, each second. So how many meters per second faster are we going every second? And gravity um, is considered a positive acceleration of speeding up. So the last thing with this means that every second you're going to travel a greater distance. So after one second, you'll be going 10 meters in that one second, and then 20 meters the next second, 30 meters the next second, and so on. Negative acceleration, we would say, uh, is slowing down. So typically to be negatively accelerating, you have to be going a certain speed to begin with. So if we started out 10 meters per second, and then we had a negative two meters per second acceleration. After one second, we would be going eight meters per second, right? And the next second, we would reduce our speed by another two meters per second to be going six meters per second. And the next second, we would reduce our speed two more meters per second to be going four meters per second. And the next second, we would be reducing our speed two more meters per second to be going two meters per second. And then finally, we would reduce our speed two more meters per second until we got ourselves down to zero meters per second, right? And we would be now stopped, so we wouldn't be moving at all anymore, so you can't accelerate if you're not really moving, right? So each second, we are going to go two meters per second slower. That's the idea of that negative acceleration. So here we can see Bo, he starts out going fast and then slows down. And when we throw a ball up the slide, it indeed slows down because gravity is pulling against it, right? Causing it to negatively accelerate. When we step on our brakes, we also would slow down, say something like, you know, 10 miles per hour per second.
The last kind of acceleration that we have is turning, that changing direction. Um, because velocity is speed in a specific direction, anytime we turn, we are changing our velocity, we're changing our direction, and that is considered an acceleration. It takes a force to make that happen. So here we can see in the car, when I turn around the corner, that is considered an acceleration. What is not acceleration? The first thing is a constant speed. When you're traveling at a constant speed, there's no extra force required to change your motion as long as you're moving in a straight line. And this comes from Newton's first law, objects in motion stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. On Earth, that doesn't really happen because of friction, but that's another video. The second thing that we have is an acceleration is not motion, like when the dog is just laying on the couch with my daughter, because objects at rest stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force.